guys and welcome to another vlog. I've just landed in Sydney and just checked in to the Meriton. Um, I have my stack shoot tomorrow and I'm so excited. It was so annoying though. The plane had Wi-Fi. Like when I walked on, they had a little Wi-Fi pamphlet in the pocket and I was like, fuck yes. I'm not going to be bored for four and a half hours and it just wouldn't connect. So... I just edited videos the whole time, bored, absolutely shitless, and because of the recent bushfires here in New South Wales, I could smell some of the smoke from the plane, and it was so sad, and it was so freaking strong as well. Like, I just couldn't believe it. Even the pilot had to warn us that it wasn't the engine or anything that you could smell, that it was the bushfires. Um, so yeah, that was a bit sad. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go maybe order something from Uber Eats because I'm actually so hungry. All I've had today is a protein shake. I had avo on toast with tomato and that's literally it. And I had a protein bar on the plane. So yeah, I'm feeling a bit hungry because I probably won't eat tomorrow until lunch. I thought I'd show you guys my room. It's super cool. It's more like a one bedroom type apartment. It's got a fridge. Oh, I should have brought my coffee. Could have made my own coffee. And then this is the bathroom. Cute. I'm about to go and have a shower. Need so bad. And then this is the bedroom. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go have a shower, order Uber Eats, maybe if it's open. It's 11.30 here in Sydney, but in Perth, it's only 8.30. So I'm super awake. I don't know how the fuck I'm going to get to sleep, but we have an early start tomorrow. I'll make sure I film as much BTS as I can. And yeah, I will speak to you guys tomorrow. So I just ordered Uber Eats. I ordered something char grilled chook, I think it's called. Char grilled chooks. And he's literally probably walking up to my room right now. So that'll be awkward. Maybe I'll set you guys up. I'm wearing my new shorts. I just ordered a quarter of a chicken salad and veggies because I wasn't sure what to get. I have arrived and then I just said I'm in room 207. I literally, I swear I put, oh, maybe I have to go down and get it. Oh, that's a bit annoying. I don't have access to come up. <sighs> Okay, coming down. Oh, okay, I'm gonna go get it. All right, got me some Uber Eats. Oh, yum. I got a chicken Caesar salad. Wait, no, I don't think it, this is really freaking heavy. Let's go get some cutlery. Okay, I didn't realize I actually got a chicken Caesar salad and chicken. Maybe I'll have this for lunch. That looks freaking amazing. Even though I did say sauce on the side. Um, whoa, <laughs> this is what I got. It's like quarter chicken and then just veggies, but they all look like veggies that I can't have except for the capsicum. So that's good, isn't it? What a waste of eight dollars. Anyways, I'm going to go and eat this now. I might actually have the salad instead of the veggies but I have the biggest day tomorrow so I need to eat this and pretty much go to sleep straight away but I will obviously vlog tomorrow as much as I can and I literally I'm like salivating looking at this I literally can't wait for you guys to see the shoot and get your hands on the collection so I will speak to you guys tomorrow good morning guys you know what Messed up. It's 4 a.m. in Perth right now. I'm about to go do my hair. I just went to make coffee. I'm gonna make a double shot. Let's put another one in, shall we? I think I'm just gonna have to use this milk. Because there's no other choice gonna have a little piccolo I'll go get my sweetener and then add this in I need to straighten my hair get my Apple watch what's the time 
five past seven. Oh, today's the day, isn't it? This is a bit handy, having that little ledge there. I'm just gonna straighten my hair first and then I'm gonna curl it. Usually what I do is I wouldn't go ahead and straighten it because I would like to make it look thick. I'm just gonna straighten the curly bits in the back. I'm just gonna leave the majority of it and then just curl over the top. Otherwise it just looks real thin. This is a wand from Beauty Works Online. I did have a new me one, but I've had that for like four years and the wiring started like coming apart. And every time I use it, Peter would be like, that's really dangerous because he's an electrician. I'm like, but it's fine. Like it still works. He's like, no, you don't understand. Like you can't be using that with like a broken wire. And I was like, okay. So I got this one, which is pretty similar. I only really like thicker barrel um, curling ones. Well, this one goes up to 220. That's a bit extreme. I'm going to go 180. Um, so yeah, I got this one and it's literally the same. So that's good. I'm just going to do it in two sections. coffee and not the ones from the cafe <coughs> all right here goes so I usually just part my hair I'll take a bit of hair from the back and start there and I'll wrap it around hold it there for a bit I won't go all the way to the top and then I'll release it and then hold it there at the bottom for a bit and then release. So that's actually how I curl my hair. And then I'll brush them out when I'm done and then it just creates a real soft sort of beachy look. Okay, I'm gonna do a time lapse. Otherwise, we'll be here all day. Over your skin, you can see it be intoxicating your energy first time in so long you felt the heat evaporating your bindings move like the sunlight darkness can't hold you here bold and bright push through the atmosphere this is your dawn this is your break move like the move like the move like the sun This is what it looks like and then I'll brush it out after I do my makeup so let's do this it's just lighting all right oh my god I'm so tired okay I'm just gonna wash my face first. all right I'm gonna start off with the Embrolis. um pretty much use this as a primer to be honest Okay, I'm just gonna go in with brows first. I got them done yesterday, thank God. Literally got them done straight after the gym. I'm just taking the Anastasia Beverly Hills Perfect Brow Pencil in Taup. And just filling in the sparse areas. I'm just gonna take my P. Louise base. I'm just going to use that 
as an eyeshadow base and I'll also use it to carve my brows. I did bring both the Tarty Beauty and the Be Perfect palette. I think I'm going to use the Tarty Beauty. I'm actually really liking it. Um, they are the shades. Okay, I'm just going to use this one for like a transition. It's just like a typical transition color. And just put it all over the lid. The shadows are real pigmented. That's why I like them. I'm just going to take the darker brown and use that on my outer corners. Alright, I'm going to take this for foundation. Three and one buff is my tan color. And just buff this in to my I forgot my benefit concealer and I'm really really sad. But I think I have yeah, I've got a NARS one. So freaking good and I've converted so many of my friends on it. Peter's mum uses it, Peter's sister uses it, I'm pretty sure Riley uses it. Okay. I'm just gonna take the NARS custard concealer. under my eyes for someone that only had like four hours sleep I don't really have that many bags under my eyes okay concealers done I'm taking my Laura Mercier powder might actually bake today just to make sure Nothing moves. We're literally shooting all day today. Shooting for three hours in the studio for product shots. So just basic type shots in the um, in the studio for just like the website, and then for the campaign, we're going to a location. Super cool! I can't wait to show you guys the vibe of it. Um, then I'm just going to take my Bare Minerals powder in Sandstorm and just press it over the rest of my face. I wouldn't usually do this if I wanted to like a, a dewy look, but it's fucking 30 degrees today. So I'm going to be sweating like a mofo. Then I'm going to go in with my Hourglass Bronzer. This stuff is freaking amazing. I use it on my clients as well. See, you can't even see that lighting. Wow. This side's better. Bake. I'm going to take this palette. It's the Becca and Malika. I ordered two more of these and they came. So happy. Um, I'm pretty sure they're still on sale on the Becca website, by the way. I'm just going to use it for blush. I like it because it's like a glowy blush. It's really pretty. Sorry if I'm blinding you with that mirror. Yeah, it's such a nice palette. I wouldn't say I use the bronzer like much. Just because I think it's too light for me, but... I've used it before on pale clients and it looked nice. And plus I'm not really a blush person, so I like how subtle it kind of looks on my skin. Okay, I bought my intense highlight, which is the Jouer Citrine. It is literally so blinding. I'm not sure how well you're going to be able to see it in this light because it's not the best, but Honestly, can I try and get a reflection? Is that even working or is that just blinding you? 
props just blinding you. It is so, it's so nice in real life when it hits the sun. Oh. All right, I'm gonna put my bird shit um, in the middle of my eyes. If you get the joke, leave it in the comments down below. I'm using that Astralis Metallics pot as always for the bird shit. I ended up buying two pairs of lashes that can go in the bin. Um, I got my Glamour Wispies or these Glam by Manicare ones. I'm thinking just play it safe and go the Wispies and I'll wear them another time. I think these are meant to go on the other ones. Fuck. So many people ask me what lip colour I'm wearing when I'm not wearing anything. My lips are tattooed for those that missed it. I think I did a vlog on it or I mentioned it in one of my weekly vlogs. But yeah, it's actually the best thing I've ever done because now I don't need to wear lipstick. I just need to wear lip balm. I need to go get my Joy one. You know what I never realized about this until I watched someone on Instagram? It's fucking double-sided. How did I not know that? I've never used the pen or like the, this part of it. Like what? How weird. Probably because I didn't read the bloody PR thing properly. Okay, I haven't stuck my lashes on properly in the middle here. Setting spray. Oh. Bloody hell, I just drenched my face. All right, we're on. I might not um, touch my hair until I get to the shoot. But yeah, I'm gonna go and pack up. This is my shoot makeup. Probably can't really see it that well. I feel a bit odd without a wing. I might just bring my eyeliner just in case. Oh no! Look what I did at the bottom. <laughs> That's right, I'll just wait for that to dry and then flake it off. But I'm gonna go get ready now, so I will see you guys at the studio. Oh my god. I'm about to put on the first outfit, so I'll show you guys when I get changed. Love. Not the best lighting in here though. That mood board's so cute. Isn't it?
just finished in the studio. We just did like product shots for the website um, and it went really well. We only did it for like two hours and he gave us like three and a half hours, I think, to do it. Sorry about the lighting. I'm in Don's new whip. Cute. Um, yeah, we're going to go to Nutrition Station now and just have something to eat. I kind of like don't really feel like eating because I don't want to look bloated, but... I will have something to eat otherwise I'll probably pass out but yeah we're gonna go to location after lunch and I literally can't wait to show you guys because it looks extra as fuck we've got flamingos in the back and it's gonna be so freaking cool Whatever you want on location but I just got a um, different clothing rack. I don't think you even saw the one that I had before this, but it was basically like aluminium, like silver, but I wanted to get a white one to match my backdrop. So I just got this from Kmart, it was only $10. And mum sent me my ring light. So I have a ring light now, two soft boxes, and she put in my little neon lip signs. I still gotta figure out what the hell I'm gonna fill this with. Um, but I might just keep it empty for now because I literally need to film and I don't have anything to fill it with for now. But yeah, I'm just about to try everything on. I'm wearing my collection. This is what I see when I film. I'm just about to go do my makeup. Um, so I'll, I'll chat with you guys after. Here's the mat that I was talking about. I got it from... Now I can't remember the name, but I'll leave it on the screen. It's something Miss Amara... But it's super cute. Oh my god. Why am I doing it like this? I'll show you guys what it looks like in my wardrobe. It looks freaking cute. And the rug that we're gonna get in the um, master bedroom, like underneath the bed, is gonna be a similar design to this. I'll show ya. Okay. Walking in. Let's turn the light on. Oh. My battery's flashing. Can't wait for Peter to put down lights in here. Like, this light is so dull. How cute. I think it just makes the room. What do you reckon? And I need to get, like, a um, rug grip thing. But, yeah, I'll leave the company... Um, where I got this from, um, in the description box down below. But yeah, it's coming together. 
Good morning, guys. Wearing my... Oh, damn it. I forgot to change my battery. Um, we're off to the city today to do some Christmas shopping. Um, but looks like I won't be vlogging because my camera's flashing. But yeah, I'm wearing my tank. I'm literally going to be living in the tanks over summer. Like, I wear them with absolutely everything. Well, I will be wearing them with absolutely everything. Okay, so we're back home now from the city and we had a little eventful day. Um, I got two of the new Kim K perfumes. Not gonna lie, I pretty much just got them for what they are. Like, they'd be so cool on display. I do love the scent of this one more than that one. This one's okay, it's just not something that I would typically wear, but I just think it would look really cute um, with all my other perfumes or I can just put on display on the bookshelf or whatever. Also went into Bonds and how cool, it like matches my collection and they were only $10. So I got one for me and one for mum because she loves pink as well. And then this I've been hunting down for ages, the Glass House Caramel Crunch. It is literally to die for. Riley bought this when she moved into a new place and she burnt it while I was there and it was honestly amazing And how gorgeous is the packaging? I think I might burn that now We got another pair of tongs and then we went into Tommy Hilfiger. What was the um, shop called? Waterf um, Waterfords? Watertown. Watertowns. It's like right next to the city. It's like an outlet Shopping center if you live on the Gold Coast, it's similar to Harbour Town so, yeah, that's so weird. It used to be called Harbour Town in Perth as well. Um, so we got a duffel bag. That's mainly for Peter for carry-on. I ended up finding my pink pillowcases for the next two pillows. Um, this was reduced to $25.95. It's just two um, pillowcases. So that would look cute. Um, I got some new Amen, which arrived. They've just launched. I'm not sure if Jazz 20 still works for 20% off or if that was for Black Friday, but either Jazz 20 or Jazz 10 will work, but I'll do a try on um, later on. And then I actually got these Tommy oversized tops. They're actually men's, but I love me some oversized T-shirts. So I got this one and it was literally $20, I think. Let's have a look. Yeah, twenty dollars from seventy. So I got XXL in that one, and then this one was a bit more. I think it was like forty dollars reduced. Another XL in this one, but I literally live in oversized tees. I wear them as t-shirt dresses or even with bike pants. But yeah, and then Peter got a button-up and a pair of um, board shorts, which is pretty good for thirty dollars when they're usually like 110. So yeah, that's what we got today. Honestly, I am wifey material. I made this for pita, some salmon, beans, and salad, and then I'm just heating up some chicken from yesterday and some zucchini fries, and I just made a little salad with some of this Caesar dressing. Yum. Good morning, guys. Is it gonna focus? Um, so I haven't actually vlogged in a few days, but not that you guys would notice because it's all in the one vlog. I just had a couple days off because I had heaps of work to do when I got back from Sydney. Um, so this morning I'm going to go and do a body pump class. Actually, no, body attack for once, which is a cardio class at Good Life. Um, I just showed you guys my um, pistachio set on Instagram and just talked about sizing. So I thought I would jump on here and talk about it as well because I don't think I have yet. Um, so because this material is a little bit more compressive than my first collection, I would definitely say that they are more true to size. So if you're a small, order a small. If you're a medium, order a medium, etc. But the sizes will go from extra small to 3XL, same as my last collection. Um, I was saying in my story that I find that the small is good for me. I like a firmer fit when I'm at the gym, so I feel like the small is a good fit for me. I like the small, um, but I was saying if you did want more of a comfort fit, I would definitely recommend going up a size. So definitely, definitely don't go down a size in this collection as the material is different to the first. Personally, I prefer this material. I did love the material on my first collection, 
like for comfort wise like i would be lounging in them all day like i literally did not take them off whereas these ones just make you look snatch at the gym there's no overhang it is quite like seamless like in a way like as you can see there's no digging in like i am sitting down but it doesn't dig in because the top isn't like a really um tight band it's just tight around your midsection and your core and then it's just it just really nicely molds your body um so yeah i would definitely just recommend going your normal size um for this collection um if not definitely upper size if you're wanting more comfort fit so that i jump on and let you guys know about the sizing I literally can't wait two more days until the VIPs can buy. So yeah, I don't think I'll upload this vlog until Monday next week, which is, well, obviously today. Um, but pre-sale was last Friday, but it's still open. So it usually does go for 24 hours, but they have extended it. So if you're watching this right now, you haven't missed out, you can still place your order. And I thought I'd also jump on here and let you guys know about the bundle deals we're doing. So basically if you spend $300, like if you add all the stuff to your cart and it comes to $300, you can use this code that I'll put on the screen and it'll just give you $50 off. So basically you're getting $300 worth of stuff for only $250. So I was saying on my story, if you and your friend were thinking of buying, may as well do it all in the one order. So you save $50, that's like, a crop so yeah i just thought i'd mention that um or you could just use my 10 percent discount code if you don't want to spend that much it's just jazz 10 but i'll make sure i leave all the information down below um i'm trying to think of anything else that i've missed out on i'm a small in absolutely everything in the crops in the tank in the um bike pants in the leggings um oversized tees i'm a small as well i probably would also wear a medium and a large if i wanted like a t-shirt dress type of look but um, for the set with the bike pants, the oversized tee that I wear is a size small. Um, so yeah, I'm going to be picked up soon to go to the gym. Um, what else am I doing today? I think I'm going to film my IGTV that'll go up or you would have already seen it. It'll go up on Friday. So when they launch, um, you guys can see a little IGTV haul. Um, but yeah, I think I might end this vlog here because I feel like this is going to be a long one because of my shoot and everything like that. So thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and leave a comment down below if you did end up ordering anything from my collection or tag me in your stories because I will definitely repost. Um, also for pre-sale, for those that are asking, it is the same weight as last time, four to six weeks. Hopefully it is around the four week mark, but it just depends on how quick the factories can manufacture them. So four to six week wait, so probably won't be getting it until early next year. Um, that's another common question that I've been getting, but obviously worth the wait. And the only reason I do pre-sale is because I don't want anyone to miss out. But yeah, I would just be so devastated if they sold out and not everyone wanted what they wanted. Um, so that's why we open pre-sale up so absolutely anyone and everyone can shop. It doesn't sell out. There's no, there's no limits or anything like that. So that is the reason why we do pre-sale. Um, so I hope you guys don't mind waiting. Trust me, it is freaking worth the wait. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye. You are fool's girl. Oh my God. Yes, I did.